trying to get your idea from your head to the store shelves can be a journey filled with bumps and triumphs. So you need to arm yourself with knowledge on how to navigate through that process. Our guest this morning has helped thousands of everyday people with that journey. Meet George Davison, CEO and founder of Davison. Good morning. Hey, good morning. You know what, every time you're here, it's great stories, but this one, I gotta tell you, this one is my favorite because it really boils down to Doing your homework is so important before you take that journey, right, George? It's so, so important. I mean, these, unfortunately, these folks all put the cart right before the horse, and they got themselves completely uh, in a bad situation. So they had an idea, and they went searching the wrong way and basically just lost time and money. Tell me about it. You'd be surprised. How many things start as an idea, and then by the time you're finished working on them, it's a whole new product in the end. And if you, So if you do this the wrong way, you'll end up, paying for patent work three, four times. And that's what you really get to in this Dare to Invent webisode series that we're gonna watch now. Tell me about right. it real brief before we right. toss to it. You know when you go to the bathroom and you have a toilet there and there's a little screw thing that holds a toilet to the floor? Mm -hmm. Well, those things always get kicked off if, and if it's not there, it looks really gross. So there are caps. You can go to the hardware stores and buy caps and put them on there, but none of them screw on. So this guy invented the first all threads all types of toilets screw on toilet cap <gasps> and we sold millions and millions of these and uh, they're in all the major hardware stores all right let's take a look meet gary and ruth frazier they're from pennsylvania one day their son was visiting with his dog when all of a sudden the dog was running around the house with something in its mouth it was their toilet bowl cap they realized not only was that gross, there was also a safety concern for their grandchildren and their pets. So Gary and Ruth came up with an idea to create a new and safer toilet cap. And that wasn't their only problem. Well, when they first started off on their project, they ended up going to a company which did some drawings and they got a patent. But once we started to look at all of that, we realized the designs in this patent they're not even gonna work. So Gary and Ruth, they put the cart before the horse. You know, thousands of people do this every year. Investing money in a patent when you don't know what your product is gonna be, that's gonna put you in financial hot water. After Gary and Ruth learned the hard way, they did their homework and they eventually found our team at Inventionland. You know, I can totally relate to Gary and Ruth's problem. I mean, who hasn't seen those dirty, nasty, grimy bolts in the bottom of toilets? I mean, that's just, that's gross. Jason and his crew got to work on Gary and Ruth's idea. Their task was to come up with a cosmetically pleasing toilet cap design that would stay in place and not end up in a dog's mouth. So the unique thing about our design is whenever we have it made, they'll be threaded on the inside so the caps will just screw in place rather than be glued on. And screw it right down onto the existing bowl. It was simple and beautiful in its simplicity. They're made of high impact plastic so the caps won't break and ultimately make the bolts safer and better to look at. We called it Twister Caps. I don't think we're ready to make a deal on this product yet. One of the big issues that we're running into is that there's a thousand different toilets in a thousand different homes with a thousand different bolt sizes that are out there. We need to come up with a universal cap to be able to fit all of them. So once again, Dan really has no idea what he's talking about. Huh? Granted, there are probably several different types of bolts, and we'll find out what those are. Our resident test dummy, Clay, will find out exactly what the situation is. It's not pretty, but it must be done. Uh, who forgot the flush? I'm 516. 516. Okay, what was the other one? Um, 516. Okay, that's two 516s. Two 516s. Okay, mark that down. Right, right. Quarter inch, quarter inch. 516s. Quarter inch, quarter inch. All right, we've got about uh, five quarter inch bolts and seven 516 bolts okay, so far. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty good range. Why don't we go measure some more? You want to? I would love to. Let's go. All right. 516s, quarter inch. Jeez, you know? So what did we learn? Well, all of the bolts that I measured were either a quarter inch or five sixteenths. Well, that should make it pretty easy for us then. So we can go back, design it either to fit either a quarter inch or five sixteenths, or maybe we give them the option of having the bolts included in with the, the caps. Yeah, it's not a huge challenge. All right, well, let's get her done. All right. Back to work. Back to work. Our team went back and designed two different versions of the twister caps. The first is a one-size-fits-all solution for quarter-inch and 5 16 bolts. And the other would just include a bolt within the package to assure compatibility with any toilet. Twister bolts are now ready for our very own Make-A-Deal Dan. 
I was able to present the product to Danco and they loved it and wanted to license it. But before they would do so, they wanted to see a couple more packaging options to go and show at retail. So I'm going to have our team here design packaging based on different retailers, the way they currently package things. Give that to Danco, give them lots of options to go to the retailers and we'll see what they say. So Danco loved our new packaging options and licensed two different products from our original cap design. Twister caps and twister caps and bolts have gone on to be one of our most sold inventions in stores. You know what I really think is cool? Is you can go into any Ace, Lowe's, Home Depot, countrywide, and buy the twister bolts and twister caps. That's just really cool. Gary and Ruth came to us with this idea. We were able to get their dream and turn that into a reality and have it sell out there in the marketplace where they collect a royalty in every single unit that sells today. You know, it's really, it's almost unbelievable. Such a simple little idea turned into a, a huge product. If you take your idea and you sit on it, you're never going to see anything from it. They took the chance and it panned out for them. Everybody's got them. I have them in my house. Everyone here has them in their place, too. Hey, Gary and Ruth, you dared to invent over 3 million units sold and still selling. We couldn't be happier for you. Congratulations. Well, that definitely wasn't down the toilet, was it? <laughs> Isn't it great? Something so simple. Very simple, very useful, easy to manufacture, doesn't take up a big footprint in the stores. Retailers love it. Manufacturers love it. Consumers love it. So it's a win-win-win. And again, the most important thing, if you have an idea, you have to really make sure you're going about it the right way. That's right. Make sure you focus on your product, then focus on protecting it. And make sure you call George. And call George. All right. Thank you. To find out more about developing your idea, visit davison.com. That's spelled D-A-V-I-S-O-N.